So today we've got another Discord ransomware to talk about. This one is called AX Locker, and as we run it, you're gonna see what it does very shortly. Deletes itself, disappears, classic magician's trick. Nothing happens for a moment and then boom, you've got the pirate skull and bones on your computer. This can't be good. But what's special about this ransomware is that it also steals your Discord tokens. Now funnily, if we try to close this out, it says error. Classic Windows XP style pop-up there. And if we take a look at our actual documents and data, of course we can't minimize the ransomware, nothing seems to have changed. Now this is something interesting I've found with this particular threat. It doesn't rename the files. It doesn't visually change them, so it still looks like a PDF and text file, but when you open it, as you will see in a second, our Shakespeare's plays have been replaced or translated, should I say, into Chinese. Just kidding, this is not Chinese, this is just encrypted characters, or a string of them. Now this actually takes ransomware stealth to another level. I'm wondering if in the future we're going to see threats where they encrypt all your data, but there's no notification, nothing on your system until you open one of your files and then you find the ransom node inside it. Wait, I shouldn't be giving attackers ideas. If we take a look at the VARS total scan of this file, it is detected by 52 engines at the moment. This particular sample was seen three days ago, so it suggests this is still in circulation. New samples are still coming out. So definitely watch out if you get a DM from someone saying, hey, test out this game, and they link you an EXE file. Don't open it. Looks like this might actually be a variant of Hidden Tier, which was, of course, the open source ransomware project. Now that goes in the same category of bad idea as breeding raptors in Jurassic Park. This is a .NET executable, so quite standard for this type of ransomware. There's still a few major engines that don't detect it though, so I hope it's picked up behaviorally. All of the contacted IPs are in the United States. That's a bit of a surprise to me, because usually when we're looking at ransomware and things like that, it's always Russia. Of course, it could just be a redirect or something like that, but so far, I just do not see a link to Russia at all. What I do see a link to, however, is a couple of zip and rar files. And interestingly, these are massive file sizes. So you've got a 352 megabyte rar file. So again, this is typically how ransomware or malware in general is going to be spread these days, is they're going to compress it, put it in a zip file or rar file, and then send it over. It's gonna bypass the scanners because online scanners are not gonna scan a massive file size. And also they're not gonna be able to extract it, especially if there's a password, right? So be especially suspicious if somebody's sending you a game or something and they send you a password protected archive and say you have to type in the password to access it. That's a major red flag. This particular sample, I believe, was discovered by the Cybel research team. It's self-named AX Locker. If we take a look at the uh, technical analysis, looks like it's pretty simple to reverse engineer and it's got a start encryption function so it doesn't try to really hide what it does very well encrypts everything except a few select directories that it leaves behind like windows because it doesn't want to crash your system after encrypting the files it collects and sends sensitive user information like your computer name username machine ip address and it just uses a regex search term. So it just looks for tokens in whatever location you might have them, regardless of what browser you use, Brave, Google, Opera, doesn't really matter. And interestingly, it sends them to a Discord server. So now we probably have a situation where attackers are actively using Discord as a platform to run their offensive operations. And this is really something Discord needs to look into and start shutting down. Otherwise, they're gonna end up in massive trouble at some point. The threat actors in this case don't even tell you the amount of ransom that you're required to pay. If we look at the ransom note, it just says your documents, photos, databases are encrypted with the strongest encryption, unique key, blah, blah. Private decryption key is stored on a secret internet server and nobody can decrypt your data unless you pay and obtain the private key. And this key is going to be eliminated in four days. So you got to send an email to this Proton email address with your personal ID. And then they're probably going to ask you to pay in some sort of cryptocurrency to get your data back. Funnily enough, though, this doesn't say anything about your Discord tokens. 
So I guess that's not even part of the negotiation. They don't tell you that they've stolen your Discord tokens. They act like typical ransomware, but they're also doing the info stealer work. And I guess that part of the operation goes ahead whether or not you decide to pay. So even if you paid them and they did give you a decryptor, they're still stealing your Discord tokens and probably selling it on the black market. So especially with threats like this, I think it's very important that you do not pay the ransom. This is, of course, a different paradigm to what most large-scale commercial ransomware operations are like, because they actually have a domain on the dark web that you can just go to via Tor and put in your unique ID and you get a systematic decryption process. Those are the larger groups that automate all their work. This suggests that this is a much smaller group or an individual threat actor even with a relatively less sophisticated backend. So once again, I highly stress not paying the ransom, but even better is always to not get ransomed in the first place. So please follow the advice in this video. Don't open a RAR file. If you're sent something over Discord, a large game or something by somebody you do not know in the DMs or even somebody you do know, keep in mind their account could be hacked. Don't open a random EXE. Nobody's gonna send you free games on Discord. That's just not how it works and use good protection on your system. Back up your data. It's not optional in 2023. So hopefully you found this video helpful, insightful, or even entertaining. If you did, please like and share it. And now to our sponsors. Avira sponsored this video to tell you about their flagship product, Avira Prime, with a host of security, privacy, and performance-related features. Now, as you all know, Avira is a very reputable AV engine. They've had a pretty solid detection ratio for ages. Remember Luke Fallwalker, the legend? Their SDK is also used by a lot of other products. With Avira Prime, of course, you get the engine and a lot more. You've got a software updater to auto-update any software that you have. You can control the firewall. You've got various protection options, including real-time web protection and, of course, ransomware protection. Now, one of the things I like about the integration with Avira Prime is that they have everything built within the UI. So you've got your file shredder, your password manager, your VPN, all of this within this UI. So for example, if we want to use the VPN, just click on this and it's good to go. Similarly, you've got privacy settings here. You can automatically apply recommended settings or select custom ones. You can select what data to share with Microsoft, security options, including being able to disable delivery optimization, JavaScript, clean the page file, some really useful security options that you can tweak again within the main UI of the application. Now, of course, this is a TPSC video, so we are going to test with some real live malware. And as you can see right away, this page is blocked by Avira as a malware website. A live demo of their functionality, it does work. Once again, thank you to Avira for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check them out, please use the link in description. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.